welcome back to the channel happy august i can't believe summer's almost over which means fall is almost here so i have a little basket here full of all of my favorites for what was the last month june july i don't know but we're doing a favorites video these are my beauty obsessions i will have all the products listed down below as always let's get into it don't forget to hit that subscribe button before we get started, I would hate for you to miss out on a new video. Let's jump into it. These are my beauty obsessions. All right, so my first product here is actually an eye cream. I recently pulled this back out of my skincare drawer. It was like hiding way, way, way in the back. So this is from a brand called Charlotte Lacroix. They actually had sent me some products like a year ago. So I was like, okay, I need to use this up before it expires and it does expire this year. So I'm trying really hard to use this up but this is you get so much product in this container a little bit goes a long way I mean, look how much I have left the argan stem cell line this is the renewal eye cream this is so luxurious it does have a really nice pump as well I did a review on the skincare line a while back if you guys want to check that out I'll try to find that video and pop it up here in the card uh, their products are really really good they actually do work and ever since i started using this again i've noticed the darkness around my eyes is like going away <laughs> and my wrinkles look really you know not as defined they're really smoothed out and i just feel like my skin around my eyes just looks softer healthier more plump more youthful which <laughs> hello i need that been obsessed. I've been putting it on every single night, just being really gentle to dab it underneath my eyes, over my eyelid. I'll be putting it on tonight, girlfriend, and it's amazing. This is from Elf Cosmetics. I forget the name. I'll pop it here on the screen if I can remember. It has a silicone pad here, and this is so white, it's probably going to blind the camera. But it has like these little tiny nodules here. It's made of silicone. On the back, there's like these little curved things. I don't ever use that, but this is the side you use. You turn it on. Can you hear it? I don't know if you guys can hear it or not because they're cutting the grass outside. Um, but you just use this with your cleanser to wash your face. So this has been my new absolute favorite. It really does help get all the makeup and junk out of my skin. I use this every time I wear a full face of makeup. I use this with my cleanser. It gets everything off. Um, it does take a one-time like battery, not one-time battery, but you have to replace the battery once it runs out. I really like this. I think if you're looking for a really budget-friendly device like this to cleanse your skin with, it's super gentle. You guys know I have super, super, super sensitive skin. This doesn't cause me any irritation at all, but it does clean. Yeah, been obsessed with this. I definitely recommend it. It's budget-friendly and it actually is really good. All right, the next product here is something new I've also tried from e.l.f. This is the Mouth Off Lipstick Remover Pads. These looked really intriguing. They were, again, on clearance. I picked them up really randomly on the website. So this contains 24 pads. Uh, they have conditioning ingredients that won't leave your lips feeling dry, yada, yada, yada. Uh, it does have jojoba oil. They're very, very... Thin, and they're just sort of saturated in well remover and they actually work so this is great if you're traveling or if you want to just put these in your bag if you're wearing a liquid lipstick I will definitely repurchase these I really really love them great to like throw in your bag or your purse very convenient and I think this is genius so my next favorite is the NYX total control drop foundation I am in the shade porcelain and I am in love. So it's a very, very liquid, watery consistency. It has a dropper. I really love this. It's amazing. It's actually what I'm wearing on my skin today. It looks really flawless. It looks very natural on the skin. I actually tested this out today with no primer underneath and it still looks really darn good. I love how this wears throughout the day. The color matches me perfectly. This has a really great shade range so from the very very fair to the very deep i know that nyx is coming out with a brand new foundation but it's more of a like true like full coverage matte i am considering getting it though because it looks really promising so excited to try that one out excited to try this one out finally i know i'm like the last person on planet earth to try it but it really is worth the hype 
All right, so really the only palette I've been reaching for is from Deck of Scarlet. Uh, they actually sent this out to me. I did a full review and swatches and tutorial with this palette. Definitely check it out. Um, this is the number nine edition palette. This is the collaboration with Belle Jordan here on YouTube. I freaking love this palette. So on this side, you get two lip colors, which are so bright, so pigmented. You got like a bright pink and then a really deep fuchsia pinky purple. I'm gonna put the flat down there. And then today I'm actually wearing the blush in this palette and the highlighter. So if you see that glow, woo! So here's the blush and the highlighter. Just a couple little swatches there. I also really love the eyeshadows in here. Oh my God, Supernova, you guys. I can't put Supernova down. Look how pretty she is. I mean, let me just swatch this one out because you have to just see it. This is the most freaking beautiful purple. I wish I could buy this in a single because look at this. Super awesome cruelty free subscription service. You definitely should check them out. I'm really impressed with the quality. I actually like the mascara that came with the palette as well. So been obsessed with this, loving it. So next up I have the LA Girl Glide Gel Liner. I think that's what they're called. They're gel eyeliners, <laughs> eyeliner pencils. I have three of them here. These are brand new that I just um, ordered a while back. I've been playing around with these and I am so in love. I really don't like this one though. This one in metallic copper, mm, she's not really my favorite. It is a pretty color, but I feel like this barely shows up in my waterline. It's it's a really light color and that's the problem. I mean, it is pretty, so there's the color there. So the one I'm wearing on my lower lash line, let me zoom in, royal blue, and that's what I have all along my bottom lash line. Do you see that blue there? That is the pencil. Isn't it pretty? So that's royal blue. There's the purple shade. So they are really nice, they're creamy, they're definitely water resistant long wearing like you can wear them on their own you don't have to set them because they really do lock into place been obsessed with the purple and the blue i have two liquid eyeliner favorites that i don't think i've mentioned if i have i'm sorry but i'm gonna mention them again uh this is the jordana color envy waterproof liquid eyeliner in antique linger there's the swatch there but it's a really pretty antique gold it's it's gorgeous it looks so pretty it's a little something different on the eyes and it but it looks really pretty though you got that little bit of gold and i did use it in a tutorial not too long ago another obsession of mine the nyx epic ink liner this one i believe is waterproof this is a great dupe you guys for the kat von d liner in trooper so this has a brush tip applicator and I love this because it comes out really pigmented, really opaque. It has a super, super fine point. So you can easily just draw on liner so, it's just, it's so fluid. It's so fluid. It's so nice. Look at that. Oh my gosh. My only complaint is that this dries down to kind of that shiny finish, which I prefer it to be a matte black, but... I still really like this. It makes applying liner so easily. I hope they come out with a matte black one because I would just, I would die. All right guys, we're down to the nitty gritty. Uh, the first one here is from e.l.f. It's called Ravishing Rose. I received this free with one of my e.l.f. orders. There's the shade at the bottom. This is such a beautiful, it's, it's kind of like a strawberry pink red. Oh my gosh. Smells like plastic and sugar delicious right it's just such a unique color i don't know there's just something about it that's a little bit different it's really really pretty though i think this is a beautiful shade to wear in the summertime i think this will look beautiful with all different skin tones i mean it's just such a pretty shade these are only three dollars you guys and they're so nice very moisturizing creamy pigmented long lasting i really really like this shade so i had to mention ravishing rose beautiful. So my last makeup favorite is the Too Faced Matte Talic Liquid Lipsticks. I can't tell you how much I love these colors. I had a really hard time picking out just two favorites, so I have 
six favorites <laughs> but these are amazing you guys i did receive these in pr i actually did a review and swatches not too long ago so definitely check that out if you guys want to see my more in-depth review and thoughts and i did swatch all 13 shades including the transformer top glitter top coat caffeine queen she is so beautiful first of all this packaging just gets me but this is a beautiful color this is a has a purple base but it's a brown color with all this beautiful like golden multi-faceted shimmer flipping gorgeous so that's caffeine queen these are so long wearing comfortable they don't dry out my lips which is pretty good considering it's a metallic finish you guys i'm so ready for september i'm going to be wearing these non-stop try to be as quick as possible but there it is right there beautiful purple love her i know some people may not like the names of some of these but you know what this one the red shade is called bitch i'm two-faced i'm not kidding you <laughs> that is actually the name of the shade and i am living for it two-faced you killed it i want to rock with you is the most gorgeous burgundy you guys i have ever seen in my life Ugh, these two are just so amazing if you're looking for a really good red or burgundy color in kind of like a satin finish because these are not as extremely metallic as some of the other ones these are definitely very wearable and I cannot wear wait to wear the crap out of both of those so there's just some more colors I mean they're just aren't they pretty that teal shade oh man these are just fantastic but they are so beautiful I highly recommend you guys check them out amazing 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 all right and last but not least i had to mention my favorite nail polish picks for the month of july some very different ones i've been kind of going away from the summer colors for some reason i'll definitely switch it up but right now <laughs> currently i'm wearing this one from zoya this is called flynn f-l-y-n-n -N. very interesting name this is a really gorgeous color. I tend to wear this a lot in the fall. It's a very yellow-toned brown shade nude. It's just so gorgeous. It's so different. It's like one of those icky colors where you're like, oh, that's going to look awful. But then when you put it on, you're like, wow. Another new favorite is Harmony. I just posted a picture a while back on Instagram. This color is so stinking pretty. If I can find a photo, I'll insert a photo. This is a nice cream finish as well. It's a very pretty purple. It looks pretty light in the bottle, but when you do two coats on your nails, it's definitely a little bit deeper. But this is so pretty for summer as well. Love. All right, guys. So that is everything. Those are all of my July beauty obsessions. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Check out the description box for a full list of everything I mentioned today in case you want to know or if I forget or if you forget. Thank you so much for watching. Check out my other videos if you want to see my other favorites. I have a full playlist of all of my beauty obsessions, my monthly beauty obsessions. Definitely check it out. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all in the next video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It's completely free. And I post new videos on every Tuesday, Friday, and sometimes on Sunday, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. As always, I will see you all later. Remember, smarter beauty is better beauty. Bye, guys. Thank you.